Well, it started about 17 years ago, I think, just a few people feeding a few people at the church, the Lamb of God. And then uh, they found some people were shut in, so they brought them to the houses and slowly grew it. Uh, really, we didn't grow uh, exponentially until 2008. We were doing about 800 ma meals a day in 2007, a, ye a year. And from that point on to now, we've done 65,000 meals. The great thing is stories about people who come back. You know, We tell people if, if for some reason somebody isn't home or you can't contact them, that you're in a poor area, kind of give a meal to whoever's there. One, one of the fellas told me that he went out and they were in this big apartment house and there was a woman there, an older woman, and she was asking if there was anything for her and he didn't have her on the list. And then he got to the last house and nobody was home. And he says, I know where I'm going back with this meal. And he brought it back to the woman and uh, when she saw him, she got so excited he had goosebumps. We got people who've come back 10 years in a row. Uh, we probably had a 650 to 700 volunteers this year. 550 will have done it another year. The other 100 heard it from somebody who did. Uh, we don't really advertise for it. We have a website for them to sign up. And people, we have gotten, because we cut back a little bit this year, had people sending me emails saying, we've done it seven years in a row, we got shut out, and we'd say, come on down, we'll find something for you to do. And we're, we're supported by the Shadowwood Foundation, who gives us a 10,000 grant, and the Bob and Dolores Hope Foundation, that also gives us a, a grant. So uh, the financing we kind of do. The actual planning, detail planning, we start in early October, and uh, we uh, start signing people up at the end of October, uh, close down the sign up about the second week in November, and then we start doing the meal planning. For I've been doing this for the last uh, three, four, five years probably, and every single time it gets better. I mean, it's, it's really interesting to kind of see the impact you're making, kind of see the families that you're impacting as well, and see how that can influence the community. Uh, we come back year after year because it's just a great way to give back, and we see it as uh, helping the less fortunate. I mean, God gave us a uh, you know, blessing of being fortunate, and we don't overlook that. I see a lot of families act really surprised. They had no idea that they were even getting a meal. So, you know, for them, it's kind of whether or not they got to eat that day, I think. And for some other people, it's, you know, they didn't plan on having that Thanksgiving meal, and now they can plan on it, and they can feed their entire family and they can have a great day.